Dr. Marji channel. I am your mother Rudra Ganesh. Today I am going to tell you relations and functions of class 11. So please subscribe the channel and like and share this video to your friends. So it will be helpful and they will learn this lesson. So please concentrate. Now let's go into the topic. Relations and functions. It is a it will play a critical role in our 11th standard. So this is the main chapter. So let's go into the topic. First, we should learn it from the sets. It, this chapter starts from the sets, okay? But let's start. I think you all know sets. We have learned it in 10th class, right? Sets. For example, if we have set B like this, 6, 5, like, the, like this, we can take right, sets. So, now, in these sets, there is an Cartesian product, and we should there are combinations also in this. Let's see. Set B with B R comma B P means the bottle color is red and bottle purple. We have taken two bottles the of that colors, and the set B is red bottle and purple bottle. Okay. No set C. We take no caps. For set C, and we have taken three caps colors. What are the red cap, yellow cap, purple cap? Now we can take combinations from these things. Okay. How means? we should to multiply these both sets then we will get the combinations in this see what is that br cr right br comma cy and br comma cp right friends for bottle red red bottle we have kept three color caps and this is a combination and one more Bo Purple bottle, BB comma CR, BB comma CR, CR CY, and BB comma CB. See friends, now how many con combinations have came out from these two sets? Six, right? So this is combinations. How when we multiply the both sets, or we can call it as Cartesian product. Now I will write the definition. So this is the definition of Cartesian product. So see, product of sets. The product of sets is called Cartesian product. Product of sets means product of sets means the multiplication of sets. Like we did, the take outcome of the combinations, right? Like if we have set A and set B. To get the Cartesian product of these sets, we should do A into C. Then we will get the Cartesian product. Okay, friends. We will get now the Cartesian product. So, like that, the Cartesian product means multiplying the sets, means the product of sets. And that's important, you should remember. If they ask, what is the Cartesian product of this? Set C. 6, comma y, and what is set d? 7, comma 2. So he will ask like this: What is the Cartesian product of these two sets? Now we should multiply these two, right, friends? Now we will get 6 into 7 and 5 into pi comma 2. Or we can get 7 comma 5 and 6 comma 2 also, like that. We can get combinations from this, and this is called an Cartesian product. Okay, friends. Now we'll move on on to the points of Cartesian product. Now let's discuss the points to note about the Cartesian product. Okay, friends. This point, these points, please note it down. It is so important so you can identify the Cartesian products. Okay. First, take this screenshot of this. I wrote two points. Okay, and now let's go. First, we have first point. Let's read two ordered pairs 
are equal if and only if the corresponding first elements equal and the second elements are also equal see friends here we have corresponding first elements right and ordered pairs you know ordered pairs right the pairs that are in the order only two ordered pairs which are in order the pairs which are in order are equal if and only if the corresponding first elements here we take two two pairs two ordered pairs the, the first pair should is the corresponding first elements the first ordered pair and the second ordered pair should be the second elements right so this and also be equal so and so first point is should be both ordered pair should be equal and we can take like this see a comma b is not is should not be equal to b comma a right okay and the second point if we do cartesian of a set and b set in a into b after we do cartesian product into in b into a the both should not be equal then only we can take it as cartesian product see friends for example we have a set a is the 5 comma 6 And set B is seven comma five feet. Now let's do Cartesian product for these two sets. First, A into B. What we will get now? Five comma seven and six comma five. Right. This is our Cartesian product when we do A into B. Now let's do B into A. B into A, if we do so, one comma five, we will get and five comma six. So, is A into B equals to B into A? See friends, no, it's not equal. So, when the, when we do Cartesian products of two sets in two ways, first A into B and then B into A, we should not get equal. Then only we can take it as Cartesian product. Now let's go to the other points. This is the last four points that. we should note down and how to identify the cartesian product so take this screenshot this last four points okay i think you have taken it now see the third point here here we have a into a into a we have here three a's and it is equals to set a comma b comma c right friends here a is a b is a and c is it now what we will assume a comma b comma c is belongs to a capital a right friends because these three values are a so that's why we can write like this a comma b comma c comma is belongs to a okay then here c then here a comma b comma c will become ordered triplet ordered triplet because these three values are same right a is b b is a and c is also a so this three values are a so we can call this set we can call it as ordered triplet so remember it we can call it as ordered triplet and this ordered triplet is also called as an cartesian product okay whenever there is an ordered triplet it is an of cartesian product now another one here we have a and we are multiplying this a we are multiplying this a with infinite set right we are multiplying this a with infinite set means in that set there are infinite numbers there are infinite numbers okay there are infinite numbers so a and infinite means where this a will become a non empty set because there are infinite set means there are infinite uh, pairs and order of pairs there will be infinite number of order of pairs so it will become non empty set it will be going on infinite set means okay so that's why whenever A set will become infinite set. Then it is called Cartesian product, or you can say non-empty set also. Okay. And this point, n into a into b, we have. We can write this like as n into n into a into n into b. See how. Let's take value take n of a equals to three. Okay. Let's take n of b equals to six. Now what we have here in this point, n into a into b, n of a into b equals to n of a into n of b. We should do. Now let's multiply this both. Now 
n of a into n of b, right? So what will be three into six? So what the answer three into six? It's eighteen. So the value of n of a into b equals to eighteen. So like this, we can use this formula and we can tell that this is the Cartesian product. And we have same like this formula also here. Last point C. N of a into b into c. And we can write it as n of a, n of b, n of c. Now let's do this also. Same values n of a three into n of b six. And let's take n of c. N of c. N of c equals to seven. Okay. Let's take n of c equals to seven and into seven now. n of a equals to three, n of b equals to six, n of c equals to seven. Now what's the value? Three six is a eighteen, right? Three six is a eighteen. Here, sir, we will get the answer. Okay, if you got this answer, please keep the answer in the comment box. Okay, so please thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and like and share this video to your friends. so they can also watch this class and they can understand this concept very easily and bye